Hello, Internet. Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Welcome to the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, May 12th. This is the show where I take a look back at what was, take a look ahead at what will be, and talk about whatever else pops into my peanut-sized brain. The game on your screen is multiplayer for a virus named Tom. My beautiful, vivacious, and sexy wife was willing to step in and pretend to be my friend for a night, and we played some co-op and some head-to-head multiplayer. I am going to do a video eventually on the multiplayer for this game, but I don't think that I'm going to use this footage, and I wanted it to see the light of day. I give a big thumbs up to the virus named Tom multiplayer. It is really, really interesting. It adds a whole new dimension to the game. It is right now, in its current beta state, only local, but eventually one hopes that it will actually be online enabled. Now let's turn our eyes to the past and talk about the week that was. We're going to start out with our most recent video, and that would be the revisit of Steel Storm Burning Retribution. The game turned one year old on May 11th, so what better time to take a second look at it? You watch the video, you will understand my frustration with this game. I am glad that this game exists, but I also hate that this game exists because it taunts me in an evil sort of way. It roughs me up and then makes me ask for more, and eventually I stopped asking for more. I, I made the clean break and Rage uninstalled the game, but I'll go back to it eventually. I, I know that I will. So. Steel Storm Burning Retribution, definitely worth your time. If you don't already own a copy, watch the video for details on how to win a copy. I do have a spare copy hanging around, and I want to foist this torture on someone else. Before I get off the subject of Steel Storm Burning Retribution, I like to say Steel Storm Burning Retribution every time I say the name of this game, so pardon me for that. I like the way that rolls off the tongue. So, sorry, just in my head I just said that's what she said. Always a pro, always a pro. So getting back to my point, let me thank the one and only Matt Yee, Mr. Impromptu Gaming, for pointing out in the comments that this game plays like a bowl full of sweaty testicles when you try to actually use a controller. You would think, given that they cite old school shooters as their source material, the game would play great with a gamepad, but it does not. It seems that this game was built to be played with the keyboard and mouse, so I would suggest that you play it that way. But no matter how you play it, if you just flop your ding-dong around on the keyboard, I suggest that you play it. Caught in Action is a great developer that really deserves your attention, so try this game if you own it, give them feedback on their website, let them know what you thought, just experience this title. Independent companies really need that sort of real feedback. When you play an EA game, you can't tell anybody in particular that you enjoyed their game or you didn't enjoy their game, but when you're dealing with a two-man studio like Caught in Action, you can really affect the morale that these guys have, and you can really affect the product itself. They are developing Steel Storm 2, so I would definitely suggest that you play this game if you already own it, or tune into the video for the chance to win, and then interact with these guys. They're on Twitter, they do respond to comments on occasion on their blog, so check them out. It ain't gonna cost you a thing, unless of course you don't own the game, in which case I guess it would cost you five dollars, but my point is, Indies Unite! Yeah. Flashing back to the beginning of our week, I played RPG Poker CCG Runespell Overture. Take a look at that video and get an understanding of what that game was. That was really one of those videos where it was less of a first impression and more of an introduction. Those are really the two categories that my videos are going to start falling into these days. There will be first impressions videos where I am playing something not necessarily cold for the very first time, but I'm playing a game that I still don't fully understand. Then there will be videos more like this Runespell video, and really a lot like my Guardians of Graxia video, where I'm trying to impart to you the basic structure of the game, so that you can make an informed decision as to whether you think the game is worth your time. Now in this case, if you thought Runespell Overture was worth your time, you had the opportunity to enter to win it. So let's go ahead and decide that contest right now. So here we are on random.org, ready to get this thing decided. Our two contestants, Citizen Soldier, my ally in killing dirty sand rakers in Tribes Ascend, and Mr. The Nitro Mountain, the guy you never want to play against in Tribes Ascend because he knows what you're going to do 24 hours in advance. So let's spin the wheel and see who's going to walk away with Rune Spell Overture. 
It is number one, Citizen Soldier. There you have it. Congratulations to you and Nitro Mountain. Better luck next time. Many more contests going on. Always opportunities here on Big Dave is Cheap to pick up a free game or two. Now let's look to the future. What are we going to do next week? Well, one thing I know for sure is that I'm going to be releasing a video about Costume Quest from Double Fine. This game was on sale on Amazon, I believe, this past week, and it is... It's charming, I have to say. I don't want to reveal too much because the video will go into more detail, but it's one of those games that, at first glance, appears that it's sort of a kitty game. But as you get into it, you realize that there's an intelligence there and a fun factor that is not necessarily present if you just glance at the cover art. So this is one of those games that you may own because it's been on sale for just amazing prices on Steam, Amazon, and other such digital distribution houses, but maybe you haven't fired it up and I'm going to try to give you some reasons to take a look at that title. Apart from that, I'm not really sure. My whole goal for the month of May is to get back on track. May is back on track month here at Big Dave is Cheap. And April was giveaway month, which didn't really go that well. I think I had three or four giveaways, but I have more stuff. And you, you'll notice that I have two giveaways that were running this week alone. Uh, so I have some holdovers from April, stuff that should have been given away in April, but I had such a weird April that May is going to be get back on track month and that's what we're going to be doing we're just going to be trying to get content regulated and get it coming out at regular intervals i've got a couple of series that i want to try out you know me and series uh you rarely actually see them ever come to fruition so i'm not going to talk about them they're just going to pop in one day uh they're just like a, like a dubstep drop all of a sudden boom they're just going to be there and you didn't even expect it so keep your eyes open. We're going to have a pretty good time here in the month of May and going forward. Late July will be our one year anniversary, so we may try to do some special things for that. Maybe some community game nights. Uh, I do play very often with uh, some of you guys in tribes, but maybe we can try to expand that out. I do have a Indie Gala number four giveaway. Indie Gala number four is still going on. You have, I think, a three or four days to get that. As with most indie galas, it's a crap ton of games and some music. It's a pretty damn good deal. I have uh, four, four bundles to give away, so I will be giving those away at some point in the not too distant future. I'm going to wait for the indie gala number four to actually end uh, before I actually do the giveaway, just because that way I can say, oh, hey, if you missed your chance, here's your chance. And I can, like, totally pimp out my shit on Twitter and Reddit and crap. Yeah, because that's where I'm headed. Up, up, and away. Stardom, here I come. So guys, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I'm still enjoying this YouTube thing. I'm loving the hell out of it. When I get to sit down and make these videos, I just smile on my face. I have a lot of false starts. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The Runespell Overture video, I think, was restarted maybe six times before I actually got into the groove. Um, but that's because I'm trying to get better and better at this. I am uh, improving my little office studio space here, trying to get the sound where I want it, get the sound dampened, and uh, just try to get it in a better place in general. So production value should uh, continue to rise, I hope. We are doing most everything in 1080 now, so uh, the only time you will see a video come up in 720 is when the game will not go above 720. Uh, so there are certain games that are just going to be in 720, no matter what, I can't do anything about that. That is the game itself. So if you do see something in 720, that's the reason. For instance, a virus named Tom. So this video is actually probably in 720. But uh, keep your eyes open. I'm going to be trying to uh, start up the streaming. I have played around with it. I do fear that perhaps my computer is going to be just a little too stressed uh, streaming. I mean, I know people with crap computers stream, so I know I should be able to stream. It's just a matter of getting all those settings right. So hang around, watch my stream, subscribe to the stream uh, for when it pops up. I'm going to be doing some interesting things on the stream, or so I hope. I'm watching a lot of streams right now, trying to get an idea of what works. So I'm watching popular streamers, but especially streamers that don't just stream popular games. So guys who uh, pop in to the top 10, like when you see something like Binding of Isaac in the top 10 games, you know that's because a popular streamer is streaming it. And those are the kind of guys that I want to emulate. I mean, emulate isn't really the right word. I want to be my own person, but 
I'm taking cues from some of those guys and taking notes. What do these guys do that make their streams uh, succeed? What do they do that make their streams good? I'm not fishing for a Twitch partnership. I'm not looking for any of that. I just want to have an entertaining stream. Two or three people come in. I want those two or three people to feel like they're having a great time. So look for that in the month of May. Hopefully things will continue up, up, up here on Big Dave is Cheap. We are gaining subscriber a month here. <laughs> Here, uh, you know, I don't really pay attention to the subscriber counts. I do occasionally notice uh, if it goes down, but uh, that's very often YouTube just banning accounts and stuff. So tell your friends if you wanna. I really don't care. Like and favorite my videos if you wanna. I really don't care. Follow my Twitter if you wanna. I really don't care, etc., etc. You guys know that I love you. I love the folks who interact with me, who hit me up on Twitter, Steam, etc., etc. I like talking to you guys when I get the opportunity. I don't get the opportunity nearly enough these days, but I'm not trying to become YouTube famous. It's cool. I like playing games. I like making videos, and I really don't care that my subscriber count isn't rising, and I really don't care that my video views are not rising. You know what means the world to me is when one of you guys says, hey, that was a great video. That is the most special thing that can happen for me on the YouTubes. So, uh, you know, drop me a comment if you feel inspired by one of my videos, if you think it was good, if you think it was bad. Uh, I do want to make a video here in the next couple of weeks sort of starting a dialogue about what I can do here to make things better. Do you want to see more not $5 games? I shudder to think that. But uh, do you want to see more high-end stuff? I mean, I don't ever want to abandon my Big Dave is Cheap gimmick, but, uh, you know, we can do some things to tweak it. This has turned into a massive rambling session. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here now because my throat is parched and your ears are probably bleeding. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.